Now I'd like to invite up Sherry Galvez, mother of the group. of Michelle and Daniel is an important milestone for us. I am a little sad that no one from my side of the family is here because they are scattered across three continents. <laughs> but they all send their best wishes to the bride of the groom. I am very happy that many Galveses are here to share this occasion with us. Molly and Grace, Evelyn and Monette, Eleanor, Carolyn, John, and Nicola, for your presence today as we embrace Michelle as the new Galvez daughter, niece, and cousin. Everyone knows that mothers do a lot of things for their children. We change diapers, we cook, we clean, we do laundry, we drive. We kiss away bruises, we help with homework and school projects, but we also scold, we encourage, we comfort, and we nag. <laughs> and nag. <laughs> and nag. <laughs> and I didn't know until recently that mothers also have to give a speech at their son's wedding. <laughs> but at some point, most of the things we mothers do for our children come to an end. What doesn't stop is the hoping and praying. You pray that your baby will be born healthy, and when he goes off to kindergarten, you hope that he will make friends, that he will like school, and behave himself. When Daniel got home from school from his very first day, he told his father, school's okay. But then he asked, Papa, how many more days before I can stop going? <laughs> we didn't know then that the answer was 17 years. <laughs> and when your child starts high school, you hope that he will get good grades. He will have fun and stay away from bad company. So it was quite a relief to us that Daniel made the right kind of friends at La Salle in Pasadena. Among them, Peter Roldan, Daniel's best man. And then your child gets his driver's license. And you pray that he will be safe and that he won't take the crazy risks that teenagers typically take. Your child goes away to college and you pray even harder because now he's far from home and God only knows what he's doing. <laughs> Again, you hope that he will do well. He will be protected from harm. If he has the right friends, then he should be okay. I want to thank Brian Clark and Troy Allgett for keeping Daniel on track while he was at Sonoma State. And then the time comes when your child embarks in a career. And with Daniel, this means anything that has to do with food. <laughs> you hope that he likes his job and that it pays enough to cover his basic necessities, like gourmet meals. <laughs> and then you wake up one morning and you realize your son is now 33 years old and showing no signs of wanting to settle down. <laughs> now you pray really, really hard <laughs> that he will find the right girl or that the right girl will find him. 
and lo and behold, they find each other. From the time Daniel entered into a serious relationship with Michelle, we noticed that he has never been more content. Michelle, you are the answer to this mom's prayer. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. So now, do I stop praying for Dan? No. I will pray that he and Michelle will be happy always, that their love will continue to grow, and that in the fullness of time and with God's grace, they will be blessed with a child or children <laughs> and make Mike Perry, June and me, proud grandparents. So, dear family and friends, let's raise a glass and toast to a lifetime of love and happiness for Michelle and Daniel. Thank you.